Have you ever blamed your metabolism for your weight struggles? Well, you're not alone. But what if I told you there's more to metabolism than just weight? In this video, we'll explore the ins and outs of metabolism, how it works, how you can speed it up or slow it down, its relationship with various disorders, and much more. Let's get started. So, what exactly is metabolism? According to the National Cancer Institute, metabolism is the sum of chemical processes that take place within a cell or an organism. These processes include producing energy, eliminating harmful chemicals, and providing the necessary materials for growth, reproduction, and maintaining overall health. In simpler terms, metabolism is responsible for all the body's activities that involve converting energy. This includes everyday functions like blood circulation, regulating body temperature, muscle contractions, digestion, brain and nerve activity, and waste removal. It's crucial to understand that metabolism isn't just about weight. It's about the energy your body needs for everything you do, whether it's breathing, running, or exercising. And guess what? Your metabolism is always at work. It can't be switched on or off. Now, let's explore how metabolism works. When people talk about having a fast or slow metabolism, they're often referring to their basal metabolic rate, or BMR. Your BMR is the number of calories your body needs to function at rest, and it makes up about 60-70% of your daily energy requirements. Your BMR can vary from person to person and isn't constant throughout your life. It's crucial to note that the more muscle you have, the more calories you'll burn, even at rest. And if you become more active, your metabolism speeds up, meaning you need more calories. Several factors influence the speed of your metabolism, such as your body mass, age, sex, genetics, movement, and even nicotine. But here's the good news. You have some control over your metabolism through exercise and muscle mass. Metabolism has two main components, catabolism and anabolism. Catabolism is when your body breaks down tissues like fat, while anabolism promotes the creation of new cells and builds structures like muscle. These two processes are interconnected and determine whether you're in a catabolic or anabolic state. When you're losing weight, your body is in a catabolic state. In contrast, when you're building fat or muscle, you're in an anabolic state. So, how does metabolism affect your weight? The common misconception is that people with slower metabolisms require fewer calories, leading to weight gain. But the Cleveland Clinic dispels this myth, revealing that overweight or obese individuals often have fast metabolisms. Your metabolism naturally adapts to your body's needs, and weight loss or gain depends on whether you're burning more calories than you're consuming. Individuals with slower metabolisms may struggle with weight loss because they burn fewer calories, leading to more stored as fat. So, the key to weight management is maintaining a calorie balance that suits your goals. Can you boost your metabolism? Absolutely. The most effective way is through building muscle. Muscle consumes more energy than fat, which raises your basal metabolic rate. Exercise also burns calories during the activity, recovery, and increases your metabolic rate. There's no one-size-fits-all approach to building muscle, but you can up your game by increasing exercise frequency, lengthening your workouts, or intensifying them. Additionally, consuming protein and green tea can slightly increase metabolism. But remember, overall, a healthy lifestyle is crucial for a healthy metabolism. Your metabolism can slow down due to various factors. Aging is a natural cause, but you can counteract it by maintaining muscle mass. Losing weight can result in muscle and fat loss, which can also slow metabolism. Smoking while boosting metabolism comes with detrimental health effects. Giving up smoking might slow down metabolism, but is a better choice for your overall well-being. Skipping meals can force your body into famine mode conserving calories. Therefore, never skip breakfast to keep your metabolism running efficiently. Some metabolic disorders can affect your metabolism. 
endocrine conditions like Cushing's disease and hypothyroidism can impede metabolism. Additionally, there are genetic metabolic disorders that aren't influenced by diet or exercise. Examples of these disorders include Gaucher disease, hemochromatosis, Wilson disease, maple syrup urine disease, mitochondrial disorders, and Tay-Sachs disease. To sum it all up, your metabolism is a dynamic process that influences more than just your weight. It's essential for everything your body does, from basic functions to maintaining your weight. Remember, you can boost your metabolism through exercise, muscle building, and healthy lifestyle choices. While certain factors, like aging, may slow it down, there's much you can do to keep your metabolism running efficiently. That's it for today's exploration of metabolism. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content on health and wellness. And as always, remember that your metabolism is your body's powerhouse, so treat it well. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next video.